How is it going everybody? You're watching then about tech, so if you feel like your iPhone is running slow, you came to the right place, because today I'm going to show you how to fix that and how to make your iPhone fast again. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you have to do is actually open up your settings and then scroll down until you see general and then take a look at your iPhone storage. That's right, most people don't realize that, but when your storage is full or close to full, this directly impacts your performance. So this will actually make your iPhone feel very slow indeed. So pay attention to this, have a look here, and of course, you can easily take a look at what apps are actually causing this, are taking up most of your storage. So you can go ahead, open up the app, and of course, delete it or offload it. And by the way, there's a huge difference between deleting and offloading. And I have a full dedicated video here on the channel where I teach you how to clear a ton of your iPhone storage super easy in just a couple minutes without losing any of your data. This is absolutely insane. So take a look at this card right here or link in the description. You go straight to my video and I teach you exactly that. You're gonna clear gigs and gigs and gigs of your iPhone storage without losing anything. And of course, you're gonna make your iPhone much, much faster just by doing that. Still here in our settings, go back, okay, until you see right here below your battery. So tap here on battery health and charging, and here, once again, may be the cause of your iPhone running super slow. So take a look at your maximum capacity, and when your maximum capacity, this percentage right here, is very low, so it's closer to 80% or even lower than that, your iPhone will be slow. It will literally slow down your iPhone. So when the maximum capacity goes down, it means that your battery is getting older, is getting more degraded, right? And when this happens, not only your battery life gets worse, but also your performance. Especially because when batteries are older, they don't handle very well peaks in performance. So then when you're using your apps, like your normal apps on your day-to-day -day use, and then for some reason there is a peak in performance, your battery just can't handle that. So it's gonna slow down your iPhone. Sometimes it'll just crash the app. Sometimes it'll even turn off your iPhone. So things like that do happen because of a degraded, like old battery, it's a normal thing. So then an old battery means a slow iPhone. So as I said, pay attention to this number. And if you're seeing it's getting closer to 80%, so 85% or lower, especially below 80%, uh, maybe it's time to actually replace the battery. Of course, do that if you don't really intend to replace your whole iPhone. So if you still wanna keep your iPhone for another year, for example, replacing your battery is a good thing to do. It's not very expensive and it'll just change your iPhone. It's gonna feel brand new. Now let's come back and still talking about your iPhone battery, we have to talk about low power mode because when low power mode is enabled and you see here, uh, uh, the yellow icon right there, uh, a bunch of things get turned off by default in order to save battery, right? But not only that, low power mode will also make your iPhone slower. It'll actually throttle the performance and it'll just make, on purpose, your iPhone run slower. It'll also do that, dim the, the, the display very fast, so let's actually turn it off. Uh, so then low power mode will do that. Low power mode will also turn off a bunch of animations, so then your iPhone will not feel as smooth, especially iPhones with 120 hertz display. It'll just cut that as well. So then when you are in low power mode, you just feel like using your iPhone that is just slow. Uh, animations are cut, as I said, smoothness is much worse so then you just have a feeling that your iPhone is slower and older and maybe it's just low power mode that's what it does in order to save battery now there's something that's super important sometimes it's not your iPhone that's low sometimes the apps that you use or some of the apps are just not really well optimized. And then you use them very often, like for example, Instagram and other apps. And because they are not optimized and because they are sluggish and slow and buggy and laggy, you have the feeling that your iPhone is low, but sometimes it's just one, two or three specific apps. 
So in order to check that, you can do a very simple test. So go ahead and open up and use for a while native apps. So your settings, for example, your camera, Apple Music, so Safari. So use native apps, the apps that come with the iPhone and have a feeling if they are slow as well or not. Because sometimes, as I said, your iPhone is not slow, it's just a few specific apps. And of course, we can try and fix that. So all you have to do is go ahead here, open up the app store, and then wait for a few seconds and tap here on your profile icon. And then scroll all the way down, pull down, as you can see right here, and then you're gonna see the spinning wheel, and then you're gonna see all your apps that have available updates. Go ahead and tap here on update all, so then you make sure that your apps are updated. And that's the best way, the only way you can guarantee that your apps are as optimized as possible because all of the optimization and improvements will be delivered via the software updates. So then that's the best you can do. Keep your apps updated in order to make sure you're getting the best experience you can. Another thing that generally we don't pay attention to has to do with internet connection. So most of the apps that we use every day, they rely on internet connection to load content, to pretty much open up and launch. They require internet connection. And sometimes your 4G or your 5G, so your cellular connection, or even your Wi-Fi connection, it's just slow for some reason, depending on where you are, uh, depending on the reception, depending on the signal of your Wi-Fi. And if your internet connection is slow and unstable, then you're gonna feel like your iPhone is slow, but maybe it's just the internet connection. So make sure to test that out because maybe that's the issue. Another very common cause of slowdown on your iPhone has to do with software updates. Let me explain. So open up your settings once again, come back here to the first screen of your settings and then tap on general and then software update. So when we update, especially to a major software update, for example, if you're coming from iOS 16 to iOS 17, so a major software update, it's very common that on those very first months, on those very first versions of this new iOS version, you're gonna actually feel slowdowns. And that's normal, it's gonna feel slow, it's gonna feel buggy, that's normal. So the best thing you can do is keep your iPhone updated. The same way I recommend you to keep your apps updated via the App Store, keep your iPhone updated here via the settings. And by the way, I don't know if you know this, but I cover every single iOS software update that Apple releases. So go ahead here, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon because every single time Apple releases a software update, there's a video I explain everything you need to know, everything that's new, and I super recommend that you follow that, watch those videos, and then of course, you know that you can update and get a better experience, okay? So updating your iOS is super important if you wanna avoid your iPhone running super slow. And last but not least, we have to talk about extreme temperatures. That's right, the external temperature affects a lot on how fast your iPhone is. That's another thing that most people don't know. So when your iPhone gets hot, when it overheats, and sometimes it's gonna overheat because the environment is hot, because maybe you are using it under the sun, or you left your iPhone inside your closed car, or no matter any other reason, okay? So if your iPhone overheats, iOS detects that, and it on purpose, slows your iPhone down. Same story, it's gonna throttle your performance and slow it down on purpose to preserve the components inside the iPhone, to preserve them from having permanent damages. So then be careful with overheating, be careful with using your iPhone in extremely hot environments because that will definitely slow down your iPhone. And extremely cold temperatures do that too. So if you're using your iPhone in super cold temperatures, Temperatures, your battery is gonna drain super fast and your iPhone will be slow. So be careful with that as well. And so that's it. That's all my tips on how to fix an iPhone that's running slow. So thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next video as usual guys. Bye bye.